one's called 10 coin toss. Basically you need 10 coins or washes that are clearly marked on one side. Coins are probably best though. Heads and tails, okay? So basically what happens is that you toss the 10 coins. And then you sort them into the heads and tails. Bit hard to see on the camera, um, but in good light it's not too hard to read them. These are some old coins I've had in a collection for a while. And haley has got six tails and four heads. She gets what to choose as many coins as she likes to toss again to try and make the stronger hand. So she's going to pick her four heads and re-toss them and try and get more tails. So let's have a look. She's got another, only another one tail. Okay, so she's got seven tails. So Rex and I both get a turn to try and beat it. With tails, the way to beat seven tails is either to roll seven heads, because heads always beat tails in a tie, or to roll eight of heads or tails or more. Okay? So Rex so far has got heads and tails, he's sorting them out. He's got one, two, three, four in the heads and six in the tails. So he's going to roll his heads again. And he's got, oh, he's got nine tails. So, so far he's got the best. And then it's my turn. So I've got to roll either nine heads or ten of heads or tails. So, starting off. And I've got one, two, three, four. Oh, I've only got, oh, similar kind of thing. I've only got four in heads. Oh, now I've got three in heads, seven in tails. So now I've got to roll two more tails to get the game. So let's have a look. One. one. So I got eight tails. What did you have, Rex? Nine. Nine. So Rex wins. He takes one counter, and that's the best of three game. And that's how you play. If you're tied, you can either have a roll off, or you can both take a, a chip. And then you just play till someone's won the best of three. That's ten coin toss.